This is my new Husqvarna 701 Enduro, or 701 Rally as I like to call it. And if this, my garage count just went up to four. Yeah, I've got a problem. The thing is, I'm not going to try to justify why I needed this. Because nobody actually needs four bikes. And the story of how I got to have this particular one is kind of strange. It shows you how small of a world we actually live in. The original plan was to sell my supermoto and put that money towards a brand new Husqvarna 701 that I would modify in the long run into more of a rally bike. But as all good plans are, this didn't go so well. I was browsing the classifieds and one day I saw this motorcycle. It looked good in pictures, but its description only had one sentence, it had Italian number plates on, it seemed kind of shady, so I just skipped over it. But then, fast forward a few weeks, I was taking part in a hard enduro race, Long story short, I met the guy who was selling that husky. He was selling it for an Italian friend of his, which happened to be taking part in the same race as I did. What a coincidence. But I knew these people, and so I could kind of easily, blindly trust them. And man, do I not regret doing so. You know what's also something that you won't regret? Subscribing to this channel. Thanks. Here's the thing, usually when one looks at a new motorcycle, he or she shall weigh different options. Different brands, different models. I did it. I mean, I thought of buying the KTM or Gas Gas versions, but that's about it. And before you jump to my throat calling me a KTM fanboy, hear me out. I didn't only consider this bike because it was a KTM, I did it because there is no other motorcycle like it. What I wanted was a steed that did really well off the road, that I could take to tricky situations, but that could also go on the highway without needing to change its oil at every service station. I basically needed a rally bike that was a bit tamer, so that it could act as a hardcore ADV, but also one that I could have some fun with on the street with enough power to entertain myself. The obvious first solution would be a middleweight adventure bike, right? About that. Look, no matter how badass they get, or how good Chris Birch or Paul Taris can make them look in videos, adventure bikes still feel like a street bike that went to an off-road boot camp. They're just so different in feel to actual real dirt bikes. They're getting better, but for me, they're still miles off. The other route would be the dual sport one, like a Honda CRF 300 Rally. But for me personally, that bike doesn't really excite me that much. I get what it's made for, but it's pretty underpowered and it's not even better off the road than the Husky is. And pricing wasn't a big concern to me at this point. So I was left in a weird spot. I basically wanted a big dirt bike that had been beaten into submission to get some road manners. But not just any dirt bike, I wanted one with good suspension, brakes. I didn't want a cheap dual sport, I wanted the best dual sport. And when you take a 701 and put a rally kit on it, man does it get close to perfection. And that's how we get to my particular motorcycle. This is at base a 2017 Husqvarna 701 Enduro. It got a bit of a rally treatment in the aftermarket. A big standout feature, well it's, it's the rally tower, obviously. This is an MST rally tower together with the changed LED headlights. These lights still work really well, I gotta say that. But the tower is not just for aesthetics, it also helps in wind protection and provides a mounting option for something like a GPS, a phone, or even an actual roadbook holder for doing actual rallies. This is the Euro 4 version, which from some points of view is a good thing since it isn't as choked from stock as the newer counterparts. It also has several protection items like the skid plate, a nice rear luggage rack and a really nicely sounding arrow exhaust. I'll admit it, it's a bit obnoxious, even with the DB killer is still in it, but it's legal, so, um, you know. That being said, does it live up to my expectations? On the street? I'll be honest, not quite. But that's actually not its fault. It's mine, because I had unrealistic expectations. The reality is, if I were to put some more street-oriented tires on it, it would probably be just as good on the twisties as I imagine. But that's a compromise I'm not willing to make. Instead, I do want to run more aggressive tires. It's not going to be that fun on a twisty road, but realistically, I don't need it to be. And on a highway or a longer road, it's still comfy enough for my standard. But when that road ends and the trail starts, this bike blew my expectations. It 
It even feels lighter than I expected. The power is there at all times and it's smooth. The suspension, brakes, heck, the entire package feels like a big dirt bike. I can chuck it around, I felt right at home from the moment I put a leg over it. And I did struggle to do that, since it's by far the tallest motorcycle I own. But we'll talk about that in a later video. I think it's important to talk about expectations. You see, what my idea of off-road is can be really different than your idea. While for some, something like a Tenere can feel like a weapon, for me it feels like a whale. But it's not that I am right and you're wrong, it's the fact that we might come from different backgrounds. If your baseline is a big GS, then yeah, a Tenere will feel amazing off-road. But my baseline is a 300 two-stroke that I race hard enduro with. So the bar is quite a bit taller. Why am I saying this? Well, you see, the whole 701 lineup is a pretty unique offering among motorcyclists today. And the mass of people that find out about this holy grail grows day by day and become more and more loyal. I still find it funny how companies promote the 200 plus kilo bike as the ultimate go anywhere machine. Yeah, go anywhere until you drop it and have to phone a friend to help you pick it up. Go anywhere until some flimsy bit breaks at the lightest crash. Go anywhere, as long as there's a road to it. Look, those bikes have their purpose. For most people, they are better suited than a 701 will ever be. But I hate this misleading marketing, where they make you buy unnecessary kilos that you will regret later if planning to actually take your bike on hardcore adventures. And the thing is, I don't want my only option to be different colored KTMs. Yes, I like the brand, but I don't like not having options. It boggles my mind how this is the only realistic option in its class. No matter how much money you want to spend, there is no alternative. They are their only competition. And I don't get that. I want a light rally inspired offering from Honda or Yamaha or BMW even. I want choice. Like, the 701 is an amazing bike for what I need it to be, but why is there nobody else doing one? Because I'm not the only one asking for this, a lot of people are. Look, to get back to the original question, did it satisfy my expectations? I think you can already guess that it did. So what are we going to do with it? Well, for once, a bit of ADV, obviously. But that's not it, because I have bigger plans for it. And for myself too. In fact, you read the title. I bought a rally bike, so it's only fitting to take it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you're interested in more mellow adventure bikes, check out our review of the Yamaha Tenere 700. Make sure to follow us on Instagram too and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.